Can you believe it is the end of October? Hello friends, this is Melissa with The Creative Season. We cannot let the month go without creating some traditional pumpkin paintings. And in this one, I thought we would create all the pumpkins in my pile of pumpkins painting. This very simple sketch is so much fun to create. Lots of shapes, a few colors with a lot of fun blending, a gold pen to create a little bit of extra sparkle and magic and pop to our painting. This one took me about a little bit less than 20 minutes. You could always come back and add in some extra color if you'd like, but just a really fun painting you can do on your own or even with your family. Simple enough that everyone can join in. So I hope you have fun painting these pumpkins. Hey everyone, well we're back and we are here painting again another beautiful week in October. We are painting a pile of pumpkins today. So this is just a little one that I did. Just having fun sketching some pumpkins and a bin, thinking about harvest time. I've got a pumpkins all over the apartment right now. I am going to sketch this out in a gold pen, with a gold pen, and I think I'm gonna use this one. So I have a variety. This one's a metallic paint marker. This one I think is an Art Deco one, which I may uh, switch to, but you just wanna shake them up really well. But really fun to sketch with. Gives a different look, definitely, for the painting. So I'm just gonna quickly sketch over, sketch through this um, fun little sketch here. We're gonna do super easy. This is a big, little bit of a bigger page and I thought that's what I, I thought that one might be out so we're going to come back over to, to this one and I'm quickly going to really sketching really sketching out the outlines and sketching out everything pretty fast I don't want it too high here I want I do want that sense of the pumpkins overflowing though which is my goal so I'm going to come down here before I bring my other line I am going to go ahead and make a really nice big pumpkin right down here. And you can see my paint pens, I need to go out and get some more, I think, because they're kind of on their last legs, but that's okay. I'm gonna make this stem coming off the side a bit. There we go, nice. Go ahead over here, making again just a very quick sketch. I really love sketching pumpkins. I just think they're lots of fun. You don't have to make them really perfect. I'm gonna have another little guy. This one will be a little bit more upright, but I'm gonna give him a longer stem, which I really love those pumpkins that just have the really big, long stems. Do you? I, I always just think they're so beautiful. There's so many different varieties of pumpkins now, which is a lot of fun too. Okay, and I'm just coming on over here. And then of course up here now, and we'll make it so that it's ending maybe right around here. I like to keep some unusual angles in the paintings, and we might add in some flat floral, or we might not. We might just focus completely on the pumpkins in this one. And you can look at mine and what I did. And you can see too what my idea is when I do sketch out the pumpkins. I kind of want them at all different angles and ideally all different sizes. So I've got one right here, and maybe this has a big, a big stem. Another one has a shorter stem. They're sticking out all over the place. I'm just having kind of fun. I'm having a lot of fun just sketching these out. Maybe this one has a little bit over here, long stem one. I do love going to the store and you're seeing all the different kinds of pumpkins, which is a lot of fun, right? Here we've got another one sticking out. Maybe this one's kind of more to the side. And I've got maybe one more back here. You want to kind of keep an odd number too, if possible. And you can pile them up as much as you can. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm thinking maybe I'll do one right here. Eight, and I'll do a nice long stem, a bigger stem on him. And we'll do one over here, one more with a little stem. And my pen, boy, my paint pens are dying, but we are not wasting them. We're using them to the end. I'll go ahead and do some nice lines. That'll just add a bit of a different look. I haven't done lines in a while, and I, I like that. I like that look, especially when we have all the round and different shaped pumpkins, right? Okay, so now that we have that done, that looks great, I'm gonna go ahead and start laying in my paint. I'm gonna start actually with, I've got my size five brush, but I think I left 
If you have a bigger brush of some sort, I do have a bigger one. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take some gamboge. We're still playing off of our fall palette and I'm gonna just do a really nice loose wash all the way around and add in some more water, just kind of go around the edges, keep it pretty wet. We're gonna add in some other colors and I'm gonna pick up some more gamboge and moving again around my pumpkins. And on the last few times we've left it white, we've done some splattering, but just to mix things up again, right? So I've got more gamboge. I'm gonna just lay down here. Maybe thinking too, is it maybe the sun is going down? We're walking through the pumpkin patch. I've always thought it would be fun to have a garden with tons of pumpkins. We had one pumpkin this year, but I'm thankful for the one pumpkin that made it. The pumpkins were a bit of a bust. Okay, make sure this is pretty wet. Now that it's pretty wet, go ahead and pick up another color. So go ahead and pick up a yellow. So I'm gonna pick up some yellow. I'm gonna add in some yellow over here and I'm just gonna kind of move it around and move it back here. And I kind of want to think that maybe my sun is going down. I'm going to pick up a little bit of um, cadmium red, just a tint of cadmium red, or if you have a little bit of orange, just a little bit. We're going to add up, end up adding these colors into our pumpkins too. So we will definitely be moving this around. And if you think it gets too chunky, just go ahead, add some more yellow in or some more water. It, this is really very light, but I do want to just get some, some other colors in. If you want to add a bit of orange, you certainly can. Just thinking about how that sun looks all fiery as it sets and all of its brilliant brilliance during the, the autumn months. Okay, I might get just a hint more red. Put that in there, but not too much. Again, if you think it's looking a little bit too dark, just add in some light colors or add in some water. And you can certainly always take a paper towel as well and damp it a little bit. Okay, so now that we're moving through here, we've got this. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and start painting my pumpkins. So I'm going to start, I think I'm gonna have some, I'm gonna start with some yellow down here on this guy. And I'm just gonna show you a couple different ways and you can play with this. I think it's really fun to play with color and mix different colors. And so this is, I'm using cadmium, cadmium yellow light here. Now, let's say I wanted a real bright orange. What I could do is I could take in some of that cadmium red that we put in the sky and just dab it in here. And it's not gonna be red for long. It's gonna mix really nicely and turn into a brilliant orange. And if you think to yourself, it's still looking kind of reddish, it looks like a big fat apple instead of a pumpkin, grab some more yellow and just move that around and you'll start to see that color really pop. And you'll notice I'm leaving some space for the white for where there would be some light reflection, really playing to the advantage that we have with beautiful, beautiful watercolor, right? And see how red that is, but that's okay. That's only going to be red for a just a second there, because once again, I'm gonna add yellow. You could also add gamboge. So what would happen if I put some gamboge, which is a beautiful golden orange, that just oranges it up beautifully. So isn't that fun to see? It's like magic. The colors just pop up as we blend them. Just really, really beautiful. Now I'm just gonna take that color that's already on my brush, and I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna start just coloring in some of my other pumpkins. Now, again, leave some white to show where that light's reflecting off of them. And I like to create them in different colored oranges and reds, and maybe even you leave one white for one of those nice white pumpkins, and that will help show off the different shapes. And I'm gonna grab some water, pick up some more water. You see it's coming across, coming in very nicely. Let me move it a little bit closer here. So you can see what I'm doing on the inside. I'm gonna pick up some gamboge. Now maybe you have orange, and what does that look like? And I'll pick that up in just a second here. So I'm adding in that gamboge, and that's a very nice pale. But like if I really wanted, for example, like this color, right? This really bright orange. I can go right for the cadmium orange, and the cadmium orange 
is um, pretty opaque, so it's not as meaning that you can't really, it's not as see through. And you can see as I lay it down here, it looks thicker, right? It, and it's just, it's really, really beautiful. So I can just add that in right here, making sure I'm not going into any of my other pumpkins. I don't think I am. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. Oh, oh, this is the one, same one. Okay. I wanted to be careful here. Sometimes I get going a little bit too intensely and I realize I've colored too many pumpkins. I'm going right over here. And anytime we wanted to lighten up, I can always just add some orange in. Again, I'm leaving some white to show where that light is bouncing around. I am gonna go ahead in just a second and start pulling out the brown, but not quite yet. I am gonna grab some yellow, move that over here on this big pumpkin, and on this guy. If you're painting over the paint pen, you see how the paint just kind of bounces off it, which I love. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that red again and dip that in here. Create that nice, vivid orange and right over here. And maybe here, I'm just gonna add in some lines. That looks nice. That looks really nice. And I'm leaving everything fairly pale. I'm not going super dark and intense with this particular one. We were um, painting the Black Eyed Susans recently, and those are really intense in color. We were intentionally going really dark with the muted colors, really playing off that beautiful fall theme but now with watercolor, sometimes it's fun to go a little bit light. Last year I did some quote art and I kept everything fairly light with starting with that gold overlay and then just having a lot of gambos, so um, of, of pumpkins and, and trees and whatnot. We haven't painted any fall trees, so we'll definitely have to do that coming up. Okay, see how beautiful, and let me back up here, I'm sorry. See how beautiful this pumpkin is looking right here? That color where it's sinking, where you would be seeing a lot of shadowing. So let's play off that a little bit more. Get some cadmium orange. If you're painting with me with a, I'm gonna add some cadmium orange up on here where you're gonna see more shadowing, right? And around in here. And then even in here, I'm gonna plop some down. And a little bit on this guy as well. I'm gonna just do lines to show those beautiful ridges on this guy and over here, since that was not showing up so much. And now I am gonna pick up that brown. So I'm gonna pick up Burnt Sienna, or whatever brown that you're using today. I really like Burnt Sienna, it's really, really warm. I'm gonna just go over here, and I apologize, I've got a fire truck going by, if you can hear that. I'm gonna leave some of it white, and you can see as I go over, that paint pen, it bounces through a little bit, which I love. I'm gonna pick up my bigger paintbrush and even without adding any more paint to it, I'm gonna start pulling that color down. I don't want it to be too dark where it takes away from the beauty and the brilliance of the pumpkins because I really want the pumpkins to shine in this painting. So I'm gonna take in some more water. And I'm just pulling down that paint and I am letting it dry as it goes down so you see it looks a little bit rough and that's I'm fine with that. Now I am going to add in some darker color to show some shadowing. So what I'll do is I'll pick up some brown and come right over here on the bottom and you're, you see the paint kind of shooting up there too and I'm going to come right in between these two pumpkins. So that's adding some shadowing and some depth there. Maybe move it around just a little bit right over here. Okay, now I am gonna take some more of that brown and just go right up to the top. And again, create a dark line here. A little bit right there. And we're gonna leave that for now. I'll take some of that darker edge, I'll pull a little bit down, just a little bit. Keep, we'll close up the gap of the white here but we'll leave the gap at the other end. Create that border here, just pulling that paint down. Good, okay, now let's pick up some more brown paint on the smaller paintbrush. So again, that's a size five that I have, a round tip. And I'm really gonna get the paint on the edge so it's nice and saturated and really using the edge 
to start painting in the tips of the stems. Now, on this guy, I'm going to be real careful. I don't get blend into the other paint on the, the, the box, right? Leaving a little bit of white there. And then going over here and just almost setting it inside. Letting it sit a bit on top of the pumpkins, that showing that connection. Even a little bit of shadowing in here. Pick up some more paint if you feel like it's fading a bit. You do want this to be a bit more distinct. That looks really nice. That looks lovely. Okay, we've got one. Make sure every pumpkin has a stem. So one, two, three, four, five, six. I have lost a pumpkin here. Except did I blend? I may have accidentally blended a pumpkin. Seven. I was supposed to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, eight. Mm, I did. I blended a pumpkin. You know what? We're going to call this a pumpkin. I did blend that one. I thought I was earlier. Okay, we'll come in and make one of those darker. And we've got this guy right here. Sometimes I do the stems first, so I actually don't paint over them. I'm noticing here I didn't put my gamboge in here. Oh no, because it's part of the pumpkin. That's why. All right, if you see any mistakes like that, just come back in. I'm going to go ahead and add in my the rest of this pumpkin here. I'm actually adding cadmium orange and it, making sure, including that there. I'm going to pull that brown into it. Oh, there's my stem there as well. Okay. And then reminder to self, next time paint the stems first. There's no right or wrong, but it it's a little bit easier to see them when we paint them first and then paint the pumpkins in. Well, everyone's got a stem. That's the important part. Okay, very good. Okay, so now we've got this. If you, for example, wanted to take and maybe add in some lines, you certainly could. This is a good time to do that because what we can do, especially if let's say we wanted to add lines right here, we'll take in some orange or some gamboge and add in that gamboge on top so it creates a really nice pumpkin look without looking like we, well, like we added lines in. See how we do that? And the lines stay dark, but the gamboge softens the whole thing up. And adds a bit of a pop, I think, too. Very, very nice. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit right there. And we're just about done. I think with this one, um, we certainly could add the green in, like I did with the other one. I'm going to stop for here, for now. I'm sorry, for here. I'm going to stop here for now, because it definitely needs to dry. I can see where I've got enough water on it, it starts to buckle. And that's always my warning sign of, okay, we got to give it a little bit of time. I'm going to add just some gamboge to brighten that up over here and let everything sit. But that looks really pretty. If we did nothing else, that is a very lovely picture of our beautiful, beautiful pumpkins. The only other thing, if you want to add a bit of splattering, that would be cute. Again, if you want to add some greenery going around, that would certainly look lovely too, like I did. I would wait till it completely dries. That's what I had done with this one. I had let everything sit and then come back and add it in the flowers at the end after this part was completely dried because I didn't want them merging into the rest of the painting. All right, I hope you love this. This is such a fun fall painting. I will see you guys soon. Enjoy this beautiful week of fall.